everybody, welcome to episode 45 of the Brownie Knits podcast. I'm your host, Gina, aka Brownie Knits, and this is my little sidekick, Kennedy, aka Kiki. I hope you all are doing well. I wanted to sneak in one more episode before the Olympics started. I cannot wait for Friday. I'm so excited. Um, but I wanted to sneak in an episode to tell you guys about our upcoming knit along crochet along that is tied to the Olympics. And I have a new sock pattern that I just released, so I wanted to show you guys that. I hope that you guys like it. Um, I designed it so that it has a little bit of texture, but it's also pretty mindless. So it's not quite vanilla socks, but it's close. So I hope you guys like it. So I'm going to go through all of those things today. So I hope you have some knitting with you or crocheting, whatever craft you like, whatever. And um, it is the beginning of August 2016, if you couldn't tell from the Olympic reference. But anyway, a little bit here. She is hanging out with me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She's like, why are you holding me in the air? She's a little bit heavier than one arm would like. Yeah. Although she has lost weight since she was put on her chicken and cottage cheese diet she's lost some weight so she's not overweight anymore all right so I'm gonna get started on the fun project so I'm gonna sit her down and here we go so first up is my new sock pattern and the name of the pattern is mockingbird lane socks um, I named it that I my least favorite part of designing is coming up with the names for the patterns um, but I was chatting with my friend Christina from A Knitter's Life and she was looking at the sock that I had and she said, oh, the columns of the sock remind me of lanes. And I had wanted to work in the word mock somewhere in there because it does contain a mock cable. You actually do not do any cabling. It's, you don't need a cable needle. needle. Um, it's just a little knit through the back back loop technique so I wanted to work in mock into the name and she said it looks like roads or lanes or you know that kind of thing so I was like mockingbird lane so that's where the name came from so here it is so on the you start it is cuffed down the yarn for this one um, for this pair this is um, the men's large it comes in three sizes it's an extra small women's and then a women's like average, which could also be a men's small, and then the men's average to large. So my husband wears size um, 11 US shoes. So that kind of gives you an idea there of the length of the sock. Um, it's cuffed down. I did US one, which is a 2.25 millimeter. And the yarn is Knit Picks Felici in their brand new colorway that they did called Beyond the Wall. So for all you Game of Thrones fans out there, you can, I think I checked yesterday and they still had some of this. So if you wanna pick up a couple skeins, um, as soon as I showed it to my husband, he was like, yes, absolutely. So I grabbed two balls of it and knitted these up for him. So it's cuffed down and the back of the sock is in stock, the back of the leg is in stock in it and that carries down into the foot. So you get a nice reprieve each round on that section of the sock. The front of the sock has um, rows of pearls alternated with rows of the mock cable. And the mock cable then carries all the way down, the center one all the way down to the um, graph of the toe. So you do the decreases on the sides here and bring it on down. So there is the, the first one that I had to show you. And then, yeah, here we go. So then this is the pair that I did for me out of yarn that I received for my birthday. And this is um, Wool Elf Merino Twin in the color Red Roses. And I wanted to show you one off the blocking needles because hopefully in the pattern photos you can see it a little bit better than it's showing here on the video. But I wanted to show you a little bit more of how it looks. There you go. So you can see the front. And there is a garter stitch heel that is short rows with wrapping, but it's garter stitch. You don't have to pick up any of the wraps. So I promise it's super simple. All right. So... Um, 
yeah, those were really fun. I just love her yarn. It's, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, when I originally was designing this sock, I used um, two different yarns that I had. And while I love them in person and they show up really well, the pattern shows up really well, they don't really photograph very well. So I'm not sure how it's gonna show up on the video. But um, they look great in person, like the, te the texture really pops. You can see the cabling in person. It just doesn't photograph like that. So this was yarn that Christina Benitter's Life dyed for me. And I believe she used Knit Picks, um, maybe even the Hawthorne Bear, I think, um, to dye it. And I just thought it was so pretty, the yarn, even if you can't see the pattern. I thought that was really pretty. And then the uh, um, this is Leading Men Fibers in the... Apocalypse Now is the main color, and then um, out of their showstopper base, and then the heel and the cuff is out of um, their intermission, and it is Poison Apple. Now, for this pattern, you can use a different color for the cuff and the heel, but I wouldn't recommend it for the toe, simply because that center cable, mock cable, does carry all the way down, so it would look awkward. Um, you could always give it a try, but I just think it would look better if you kept that in the main color and just kept your secondary color to the heel and the cuff. So, and I'm going to take off the beyond the wall off the, that one's showing at least on my video monitor the best. Um, so I'm going to take that off and show that here so that you can see the pattern. There you go. So I just really had fun doing this one. I hope you guys love it and want to knit them. Um, a huge thank you again to Emma Clark, um, who is Knitter's Friend on Instagram, and to my friend Carol, who is Little CP in Ravelry and Little Britches. CP, I think, or Little Britches, um, in Instagram. So thank you both for test knitting. I really appreciate it, and Carol for editing. Um, you can get the pattern up in Ravelry, Craftsy, on the Brownie Knits Etsy shop, and on brownieknits.com. If you purchase the pattern in Ravelry between August 1st and August 15th, 2016, and you use the coupon code BK Mockingbird, you'll get the pattern for just 99 cents. Um, otherwise, it's $1.99 US, um, but yeah, so you can get it for basically half off, a little, a penny over half off, I guess. So um, I hope you guys enjoy it and have fun. So yay. All right. So the next thing that I wanted to talk about, our Olympic Charity Knitting Project. So here's the concept. Um, I was getting really like upset and bothered by all the negativity and the news that's coming out um, around the world just you know and I just wanted to try and feel like I wasn't just stuck in a room watching this negative news on a loop and instead I was doing something so and I love the Olympics and I love to issue myself some kind of knitting or crochet challenge like do this crazy amount of work in the time that the Olympics are going on while I watch the Olympics in the spirit of the athletes working so hard for achieving what they're trying to do. So I decided that this time around, I would marry that um, my Olympic challenge with doing something for others. And so I am going to knit and crochet items for other as donations to other people. So one of the things I'm going to knit for is the hospital that took care of my friend's daughter who passed away. Um, and I contacted them and they need, would like blankets, um, knit and crocheted for the children. So I'm going to try and do one boy blanket during the Olympics. And then after the Olympics are over, I'm going to do a girl blanket. Um, and I'm going to use this yarn and I have had this, it's, it is stash yarn, but it's new yarn because, um, it has never been used for anything. It's been kept in storage um, where it hasn't been exposed to anything. 
Um, so that was one of the requests from pretty much all the charities like that you use new yarns. So what they mean by that is please don't take like, you know, go to Goodwill and, re and get a sweater and wash it and resource that yarn into a donation for the, um, for the children and, and the other charities. So that's what they mean by it. Um, they also want smoke-free homes and away from pets um, and cleanly laundered, all that good stuff. Um, and no 100% acrylic yarns because it was it's just too rough for um, the patients. That mostly comes into play for like chemo hats and things. So I'm sticking mostly with like superwash wools or and or um, a merino wool blend that's washable. So that's kind of what I'm going with. But anyway, I'm gonna knit this out of, knit a blanket for a boy, out of the Spud and Chloe, um, and it's their sweater worsted, and it's a super wash. And I'm going to knit up uh, one of my patterns, um, the Choo Choo Train blanket. So I'll put um, a link to it in the show notes in case you're interested in the pattern. Um, I'm not really mentioning it to sell the pattern here, I'm just mentioning it because that's what I'm gonna make. Um, so I'm going to make them that out of stash yarn. And so that will actually qualify for our year long stash down, um, knit along crochet along, which is 2016 stash down. And you can join our Brownie Knits Ravelry group and see all the information about knitting, um, from our stash this year. It's never too late to join. Go ahead and jump in. So anyway, that will be a big stash down pro buster project for me, as well as a project for the charity. Um, and for the, um, the hospital. And some of you have contacted me about potentially making blankets for the hospital, and I love that. So um, if you're interested, you can send me a private message um, and I can give you my information so that you can mail them to me and I'll take them to the hospital. Um, you are welcome to join along and then in the knit along and crochet along for charity but you don't have to make a hundred projects. You can just make one. Like you or you can do as many as you want or as few as you want, totally up to you. And you can donate to a charity that's local to you, or you can, if you don't want to mess with that, you can contact me and I'll give you my mailing address. And then I'll make sure that all the items get to people who can love them and use them. So that's the whole concept. Sorry if I, I probably should have put that at the beginning, huh? But anyway, um, that's the concept and so i went through and i was trying to decide what else i was going to make because i knew i was going to do the blanket for the kids um and then i usually um donate to some kind of fundraiser in my area i like they usually ask me for hats so i'm going to do two hats that are going to be earmarked for um the a local school's fundraising activity and then the rest of the hats that I'm going to make during the Olympics are all going to um, other charitable organizations. So this episode, I decided for Knitspiration that I would show you guys um, my Olympic charity knitting and crochet um, Pinterest board. Because what I did, I went into Pinterest and I started searching for hat patterns that I just liked that I thought would be potentially good hat pro projects for my charity knitting. Isn't that cute? So I went through my stash and just grabbed yarns that I thought would make nice hats. And then here's some more. And then tagged hats that I thought would be good donation hats too. So hopefully as I sit down with my big bag of knitting and um, or big bag of yarn that I pulled off the shelf for this project. So I'll show that to you. So I pulled all of these yarns off the shelf, pulled out the needles that I like to knit hats with. So hopefully all of this or most of this will become hats for people and blankets. So that's how I'm going to approach trying to get out some of that negativity that feeds into my mind when I'm watching the news. Um, and doing that way I get to do something that I love doing with watching the Olympics and knitting and crocheting. And I get to knit down my stash, so it's all kind of selfish too. But anyway, there it is. 
and there are three prizes that you can win. So I am naming them the gold package, silver package, and bronze package. They're not really first, second, and third. They'll just be randomly drawn from the brownie knits thread that is up for us to um, talk about our knitting for good and our crocheting for good. And those are the tags that you can use. Um, actually, let me tell you that. Yeah, knitting for good 2016 and crocheting for good 2016 are the hashtags that we can use in Instagram and Ravelry for our Olympic knitting projects. I mean, my Olympic crocheting projects. Um, so there you go. Um, and you could win one of three prizes. The first one is this lovely yarn donated to the podcast by Susie Parker Yarns. And it's gorgeous. It's a merino sock fingering in the carnival colorway. And it's gorgeous. I so wanted to keep this for myself, but it was donated to the podcast. So it's going to one of you. And you'll be lucky and you'll love it. It's so gorgeous. So you'll get that and some other goodies with it. The silver package is this lovely skein of yarn, which is from Craftfulness. And it's a super wash, 75% BFL, 25% nylon. And it'll come with this pair of um, Chiagu needles in size two, US two. So that's 2.75 millimeter. So that will be the silver package. And the bronze package, will be $15 worth of patterns that you select and then I will purchase and give to you as a gift through Ravelry. So those are the things that you can win. That's how you can all participate. On top of that, if you are looking for some hat patterns, um, any, all, I should say, all of my hat patterns are on sale for 25% off um, during the Olympics. So 8.5 to 8.21. You'll get 25% off and then any profits that I make off of those hat patterns that are sold with the coupon code and the coupon code is Olympic Charity 2016. So Olympic Charity 2016 and you can use that again for any of my hat patterns for 25% off and all profits that I make off of those patterns, I will then be donating to a carcinoid organization um, during World Net Day, which is Neuroendocrine Tumor Day um, and Cancer and Carcinoid Day, um, which is November 10th, 2016. So there's some different ways that you can contribute if you want to. So um, I think that's everything. Um, yeah, so go up to the Brownie Knits group and Ravelry. Join us for all the knit alongs and crochet alongs and um, let's have fun watching the Olympics and knitting and crocheting away. I hope that wherever you are in the world that your country does well in the Olympics and that you guys are all doing well. So I will talk to you all later. Happy knitting and crocheting. Bye-bye.